Very good day everybody and welcome at E36 Vlog 40, painting brake rotors and backing plates. Uh, well, there's a major change in plans in uh, the brake swap. Uh, the 330i big brakes are not going on my daily, but on the E36. Uh, why do I make this choice? Well, there's uh, too much time, money and energy into this uh, brakes already. So uh, I'm not going to put it on my daily, but on my show car. And on the other hand also because uh, I'm driving uh, 18 inches on the E36 and uh, with this massive disc it fills up the whole space. Um, of course I'm not going uh, to put them on uh, just like this. I'm going to do something special to uh, the brakes because it's a show car. Um, I'm going to show you now. Okay, back to the drawing board. Uh, pay attention if you want to make the right choice of the style and performance of the disc brake you want to choose. Uh, the first question you have to ask yourself is do you want a single disc or a ventilated one? I specifically want a ventilated one in the front but also in the rear. Uh, then the second question you have to ask yourself do you want a plain disc? Do you want it slotted or they also called it grooved? Do you want it drilled or the fourth option you want it drilled and also grooved? Well I'm going for uh, the plain look. Then the third and final question. Do you want them a bare metal, do you want them painted or do you want them coated? Well I'm going for uh, the painted one. Uh, the thing with the, the painted one is that they use very little paint. So I'm going to take it off and put new paint on it. Of course I'm not going to put second hand discs on the E36. So I got myself a fresh pair of new ones. What's included, two times a screw, two times a disc. Um, I specifically want Brembo's. And this is uh, the second option. So this is the painted one. But you can see they didn't do it very nice and they used very little paint. So I'm going to respray it. I'm also going to do the rear of the disc. I'll explain why. Uh, when it gets older, there's going to be rust over here. It falls uh, under here and it uh, gets under your uh, brake pad. Uh, this is bare metal. So if you want to paint this, you have to grind it up really good and put a base coat under it. Uh, the already painted ones, you can just grind it up a little bit and put your color over it. But I'm going to put a base coat over this one as well. So they stay really clean for a long time. My parcel just arrived. It's included the heat resisting paint. Um, I'm going to unpack it and show it to you okay, guys. Okay, back into the shed. Um, if you want to do a quality paint job, you have to grind the discs really good. Uh, then put a base coat on it, followed by the color and a plain coat over it. Um, it has to be heat resistant and uh, you also need to uh, bake it when you're ready. Uh, if not, uh, it's not heat resistant. So uh, let's start. Uh, the thing is with this uh, high temperature caliper paint is that you have to spray it wet in, wet out. Uh, what means is uh, that you have to wait on top 3 or 5, maybe 10 minutes uh, before you're going to spray the other layer. 
Um, I'm not going to say how many layers you have to spray, covered is covered. Uh, they advise three or five minutes, so uh, keep it on that. Um, when you finish your primer, your base coat, you can follow up right away with your color. Uh, and when you choose for a high gloss color, you can top it off, but also between those layers, wet in, wet out. Uh, so spray over the other layer when it's still wet. It's very important. Dark Vader.
Okay, what do we got here? So I'm a rust reactor, you can mix this up with penetrating oil to get everything loose. This one to get the brake cylinder back. This paint is heat resistant and you can paint over rust. Then new little poles for the braking discs. And I'm going to put the ceramic paste on it. Because if you have two materials, the weakest one loses. If you put the ceramic paste on it, you still get it loose after a few months or a few years. <laughs> 